Hi, I'm going to discuss about uh, CMOS inverted stick and level diagrams. So by using uh, stick diagrams, you can easily identify the given chip layout. So basically, stick diagrams are the cartoon layout diagrams for the any electronic chip. To draw the layout diagrams, so universally they are following some rules to design uh, color coding with the color coding. So green color is used for end diffusion and yellow color is used for p diffusion red for polysilicon generally polysilicon is used to design a gate terminal blue for metal and contact cut for black color and yellow for implant so yellow is used for both implant as well as the p diffusion and symbols you can see this uh, for green color and uh, for end diffusion red poly blue for metal black color for contact cut most layer diagram symbols are this Box contains green color, box contains straight lines, and polysilicon silicon symbol is this. Box contains left side lines, and uh, box contains straight lines is the metal symbol. Contact cut is square, black color. So these are the symbols, and transistor symbols also can see this. And this is the transistor symbol stick. Poly over P diffusion over P diffusion over poly. Or else you can use horizontally poly and vertically yellow. Both are correct only. So both the ways you can use. PMOS enhancement mode transistor. For depletion mode transistor, implant is compulsory. So implant is there. And for bipolar transistor, this is the BJT bipolar transistor stick symbol. So coming to here, you can see this, uh, the mouse cleared symbol also you can see this transistor source gate drain and poly green color over poly or else poly over green so you can see this the difference either green over poly or poly over green red color is poly is horizontal vertical and green is horizontal or else green is vertical and poly is horizontal both the ways you can use the transistor so that's uh, you should know that and coming to the stick and layout diagrams, you can see this. This is an NMOS invert, CMOS inverter diagram. One is NMOS transistor is required, and one is PMOS transistor is required to get the output, inverting output. This is the middle one is the stick diagram. How to draw the stick diagram? I will explain. And this is an MOS layout diagram. How to draw the MOS layout? I will explain. So coming to the there are two transistors are required you can see this pmos is required and mos is required supply is required and ground is required so remaining all are metal connections only of course it is source and gate and drain and this is also source and gate and drain so remaining all are interconnections between them so i'll go with first metal so metal color is blue color i am going with metal this is a metal metal and VDD this is a metal color VDD I am assuming this is blue color in the exam university exams you can use the blue pen but mention the coding names then also you can get the marks so it's not a problem if you have your colors you can use otherwise you can go with blue pen blue pen so no problem so we will get the marks. So this is an ground. Blue color is uh, again it is a metal. Metal is used to for ground and supply. Next two transistors are required. One is PMOS transistor. PMOS and uh, one is NMOS transistor. One NMOS transistor. One is PMOS transistor. I am going with poly. Poly is red color. So I am assuming this is poly. Poly. And here also one transistor is required, poly, red color. This is an poly. I am assuming poly. Poly over P diffusion is the PMOS transistor. I am going with again PMOS transistor yellow. So this is an yellow. Poly over P diffusion. Poly over P diffusion. So this is an yellow. This is an yellow P diffusion. P diffusion yellow color so this is an PMOS transistor and poly over or green 
green over poly. So this is an N-MOS transistor. N-MOS transistor. Of course, it is a single line. So for our convenient, I am drawing like this. So here it is an N diffusion. So poly over N diffusion is N-MOS transistor. Poly over P diffusion is yellow color is P-MOS transistor. Now we can see this on gate and I am assuming this is source and this is gate and this is drain. I am assuming this is source and gate and drain, source, gate, drain. So we can assume like this also source, gate, drain. Some of the test books they are following this is the both the ways. So source, gate, drain also we can assume. So but both are correct only. So, but this is an easiest method. Now, gate, gate are connected. Two gates are connected and across that we are giving the input. There are two options are there to give the gate, gate connections. Gate 1, gate 2 connections. So, one is we can use the metal or else you can extend with poly, red color. Same material, I am going with metal. So, I am using metal here. This is an sorry, poly, red color. So, across that they are giving input completed. Next, source and drains are interconnected. Across that we are giving the output. So here also we can extend with uh, N diffusion, we can extend with poly diffusion or else metal. I am going with metal. There are three options are there here. I am going with metal, third option. But we, we need to show the, we need to show the contact cut. So this is an contact cut, black color. But contact cut is should be black color, should be black color. Across that we are giving output, V out. So this is an metal. Now we can extend with uh, either blue color, drain to supply is, either we can extend with blue color or else poly. So both the ways you can use, I am going with uh, metal here, but contact cut should be there. And here also we can extend with green also. So I am going with here, green here. So if it is green, no need to give the connections. Contact cut. So here, blue color, yes, black color for contact cut. So these are the, these are the contact cuts and how black colors are the contact cuts. So now uh, the stick diagram is completed. You can see this. This is the stick for uh, n motor. You can see this. So this is an yellow, this is an yellow, this is an green, so poly and this is an metal they have used. You can see this. Like that uh, we need to draw the stick diagram. Coming to the layout diagrams, I will show you how to draw the layout diagrams. Here also we can go with metal for supply and uh, metal color is blue color. I am going with metal here. So this is an metal color. So as I said uh, in the university exams, you can go with blue pen totally but mention the just color names so that is enough to get the marks so here you can see this this is an vdd supply metal color is blue and ground is also i'm going with metal metal this is metal symbol box contains straight lines is the metal so this is also straight lines and ground now we, you need to draw the p diffusion and n diffusion transistors an NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor for top P diffusion. So I am drawing with this is yellow P diffusion over P diffusion symbol is this thing box contains right side lines and uh, poly poly for red color poly. So this is an poly poly. Poly symbol is this is the poly symbol right side lines box contains and here also we need to assume source gate drain this is the easiest process and here also end diffusion is required uh, poly over end diffusion for poly over end diffusion we need to draw end diffusion poly over end diffusion means green so green I am taking so this is an green this is an green, green. So this is an end diffusion symbol. This is the symbol for NMOS transistor. So now we need to give the connections from gate to gate. Here also we need to assume source, gate 
and drain. As I said, we can assume source gate drain right side also. Source gate drain. So, but both the ways are correct only. So now gate gate are connected, interconnected, and uh, across that we are giving the input. Here there are two options are there to give the connections. Uh, gate gate we can extend with poly. So anyhow it is a poly. So we can extend with poly same material, or else we can go with metal. So I am going with uh, poly. Poly. So this by using I am extending with poly. So this is the poly. Poly material. This is an poly. Poly. So poly is there. So across that we are giving the input signal. Input signal. So V in is there completed. Next source and drains are connected. Uh, by using we can extend with uh, P diffusion or else you can extend with green N diffusion. So or else one more option is metal. I am going with metal. Metal color is blue. So I am giving the connection between source and drain is uh, metal. Metal symbol is box contains straight lines across that we are giving the output. This is V out. V out. Next here also there are two options to give the connection drain to supply. We can extend with uh, yellow. Yellow means it is an P diffusion, yellow color P diffusion, or else you can go with metal, but both are correct only. So, if you are given with metal, so there is the we need to show the contact cut here, and here also I am going with metal, or else you can extend with green, both are same. You can extend with green. So, this is an green, this is an green, I am going with yellow. Green color and diffusion. So now completed. Uh, we need to show the contact cuts wherever it is required. I will show you here black color. Go with black. So here these are two different materials. We need to mention the contact cut here. And one more is this is also different. Two different. So P diffusion and metal. And here also it is two different. So we need to show the contact cut. So this. Uh, this is also contact cut. Contact cut. So this is the way to draw the layout diagrams and stick diagrams for the CMOS inverter. Thank you. Here you can see this.